this is just to show that I've, uh, a quick test to show that I've set them up correctly. So with the contrast level, you can see definite bands in each level on both screens. Where if you've got your contrast wrong, you'll find that the white will wash out down this way, and black washes right up. So you just have. So we've set them up as best we can. So both of them are showing the best picture we can get out of them. Um, what best is we might have to come up a little bit closer for the next one. I'll show you some interesting things that happen. This is a little bit geeky what we're doing here, obviously, but that's what we're here for. This te test pattern shows things like single pixel on, single pixel off, two on, two off. Um, on here, if you come up close, you can actually see there's definite one on, one off, one on, one off. Here it's going a bit bandy and, and it's just not quite coping with the information. And again, with the one on the far left hand side, that's two pixels on, two pixels off. And for some reason, it's putting those lines across. There, there seems to be a lot more picture noise within the greys on that. Mm. Um, now look at uh, just look at uh, some test patterns that deal with motion. So, firstly, I'll do one that's predominantly black and white motion of moving circles, and you'll see both panels do this very well. I'm not trying to hypnotise you. <laughs> so this is a particularly difficult thing for, for you'll find a lot of consumer panels really struggle with this, but both of these are doing a pretty good job of this. If I do the same thing but use a colour test pattern, which is using, rather than black and white, it uses red and blue, some strange things start to happen. So the pioneer is struggling when the lines get fine towards the edges. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is using full 1080p uh, resolution content from the Blu-ray player. So we're going uh, dot for dot, 1080 to 1080. Now if I do the same demonstration, this one, but using 720p, so we'll be looking at the internal scaling of the screens, you'll see some really strange things. Which... So it's the, it's the, basically the same thing, but this time 720p rather than 1080. So we're looking at predominantly what the internal scaler is doing to bring it up to a 1080 resolution. So that's kind of the geeky stuff over. I'll just put some actual test footage on so you can see what it does with real world images. <clears throat> like standing in front of both of these screens for hours. Yes, the black is definitely darker uh, on the final black on the Pioneer, but the actual information within the blacks, the Panasonic actually can not only create better grayscale at that bottom end, but you'll see there's actually colour definition in the very low level light scene. So at the very start of this demonstration, it's kind of in a desert and there's, uh, it's uh, an orange dirt that's there. You'll find on the Pioneer, it's almost just using it in shades of grey, where you will see a, a dark orange when there isn't in, uh, much light. And then I'll just let this carry on rolling, and that's really the end of the uh, presentation. Has each screen been set up in data colour or something?
Uh, I've uh, set them up using the DVE disc to get the colours uh, as accurate as I can. Um, I noticed some of the pioneers earlier when I was looking at it, but some of the images looked more vibrant. But surely you could turn up the Panasonic to match that. If you want, if you wanted a more dynamic uh, picture, you can. In fact, the irony of this is that we are now just seeing this for its real people.